Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we are watching PWG's Bask in his glory from 2018 and Encyclopedia, you were there. I was there. That was a, I mean, so far it's been amazing. We it's had, been a great show. Yeah, I mean, we had Keith Lee doing his thing. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Bronson Reed, mm -hmm. Timothy Thatcher. We had Andy Brown and, and uh, Tyler we, Bateman. We had Bandito. Bandito for the win, that guy was amazing. There's a lot of good things <laughs> happening in the show. <laughs> this was a stacked show. And today is no different because today we have David freaking Star versus Matt Riddle, the bro, okay? I love Matt Riddle. Mm -hmm. If for no other reason than his credibility and his, his background in the UFC gives him instant cred in the ring, kind of like a Ronda Rousey, right? 100%. I think Ronda Rousey is trash compared to like Shayna Baszler, okay? Mm -hmm. But Ronda Rousey has instant credibility because we know who she is from the octagon. Kind of the same way with Matt Riddle, but Matt Riddle is a hell of a monster in that ring. Indeed. I mean, you've been watching it for quite some time. Quite a while. And so this is one of those interesting ones that this was leading into the summer of 2018. And at the point, I, I don't know if Matt had been contacted by WWE and NXT, mm. but he was on the way to doing that. Because, he was on the radar. Because after the PCW show and he signed my copy of The Wrestler, mm. he was gone. He was gone. He was gone. Just a ghost. He's gone. In, he's in that WWE witness protection. You know what but, I mean? You know, he, he got whisked away. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about Matt Riddle. Um, he's fantastic, but you know who else is fantastic? David Starr, I watched his uh, documentary, I forget the guy's name, I think it's Kenny Johnson, and um, talked about his background in independent, I'm sorry, amateur wrestling. David Starr was a hell of an amateur wrestler. Another thing that David Starr does that I really love is he writes every single match he's ever had in a notebook, mm -hmm. which is amazing. He keeps great records. I mean, the guy is definitely prolific and gifted. He loves the sport. Oh yeah, and you can tell. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a historian. He also wants to document everything that he went through. And Absolutely. again, I think it's gonna make for an amazing set of memoirs or yeah. however he chooses to publish it, but it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I mean, David Starr, you're, you're amazing. We love you. We wanted to interview you, but you ignored us the next time. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a hell of a match. So I don't know what to expect. I know Matt Riddle's a hell of a striker. I know he's big and strong. I know David Starr is probably not the same size as Matt Riddle. A little bit smaller, but- he's a hell of a grappler and a hell of a wrestler. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, he's gonna be a little bit shorter than uh, Riddle. I mean, everybody is yeah, other than yeah, you. True. And um, but yeah, he's uh, he's definitely got that technical ability. Yeah, it's like a, it's a classic kind of a matchup. It's funny how WWE and pro wrestling in general is kind of going more towards styles, right? Right. In the boxing world, we say styles make fights. Okay. And so Riddle's got more of a striker style, whereas. You know, David Starr is more of a wrestling style. Exactly, okay? that like match a, style that catches can. Exactly, can. it's like a Mark Munoz versus a, a you know, John bon, Bones Jones, right? Yeah. Like that kind of a thing. So we're able to see these different contrast. styles. Contrast, I believe you're talking about contrast. I am talking about contrast in Cyclopedia. Yeah, so yeah. it's cool to see these styles because these styles bring a different dimension to the match. Now, of course, a DDT is a DDT, right? And they're gonna pull out some different things throughout the match, but it's nice to kind of know what we're in for and we kind of understand the, the clash before it happens. Does that make sense? 100%. Now, Guys, you're gonna. This is a four star match by Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling right. Observer. So strap in. Uh, this is gonna be a great match. Hell yeah. And we're gonna start watching it right about now. All right. So we just finished the David Starr versus Matt Riddle match. And holy crap, that was the definition of back and forth. Bro. Bro. Lots. I mean, look. I don't know if this is the right way to describe David Starr's style, but it's like catch as catch can kind of a thing. A lot of reversals, a lot of, um, I don't know, just unexpected things, you know? Weird little roll-ups and I don't know, it's just kind of crazy. Like you never know what's gonna happen in a David Starr match. Sure, and then you get a grappler like Matt Riddle who legit has done this and, yeah. and you know, you get those guys in there and it's just, it becomes a grapple fest. For sure, and I thought like, it wasn't as exciting as a big Keith Lee match or like, you know, some crazy high flying ricochet versus Leo Rush type of match, but it's still super engaging and it sucks you in because you're not sure what's gonna happen and who's gonna come out on top. You Especially know I mean? at the end with that uh, super gotch pile driver from the, yeah, from the top crazy. rope. I mean, that was a crazy finish. That was awesome. I mean, honestly, Matt Riddle is, is, <laughs> is amazing. He's prolific and gifted. I think we can say that. Mm -hmm. um, talented in multiple sports. Of course, so is David Starr. So that was a great matchup and it was a solid match. I mean, I don't know what more to say about it. There weren't any crazy like holy crap moments, but David Starr is, is as solid as granite. You know what I mean? And Matt Riddle is pretty damn solid as well. well we're gonna see Matt Riddle wrestle for a very long time in WWE. Oh, I for mean, sure, that guy's got. He's, he's, he's this generation's RVD. Oh yeah, I can see that. That's, that's what people look at him as. All right, very cool. If you feel that way, you gotta let us know in the comments because Matt Riddle, I think, is, is on the rise. Oh, Has he sure. held any championships yet? 
Uh, not in WWE. All right. But he just won the Dusty Classic with uh, Pete True. Dunn. True, yeah. What's it called? So, the uh, Broser Weights. Yeah, the Broser yeah. Weights. So maybe they win the tag team gold from Undisputed Era. That would be kind of cool. I mean, I'd be cool with it. I feel like he needs it's to it's a good somewhere. It's a good repackage for Pete Dunn as well because the problem is, is everybody goes, well, he's the longest UK champion. Mm. And that is something that defines who Pete Dunn is, but yeah. he's also a phenomenal wrestler. So, and Riddle and him in a tag team, I, I think that's a great way to put these guys the different look. I can possibly see that. put the titles on them. I, can I mean, see that, you know, yeah. Pete Dunn loves wrestling in the U.S. I think Brody, you know, Brody wrestled Pete Dunn. Really? Yeah. At All progress. Right. I might have to check that one out too. Brody King versus Pete Dunn. A lot of crazy. I mean, Broser Wade is a cool kind of a combination. Yeah. Pete Dunn, I like, you know, the bro, the laid back versus mm -hmm. like the stoic, you know, stern and right. then all the breaking stuff. So it's really cool. I really dig that. I really wish Pete Dunn would get different ring here. No, understood. Every time I see him, he looks like he's wearing a one piece. <laughs> he looks like, like like your grandma at the pool at the home. You know what I'm saying? It's like, understood. come on, man. Anyway, that's enough hate from the Jag. That was a hell of a match. And I believe there's only one match left on the card. Am I right? <laughs> Premiering tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern, or 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Noon Eastern, absolutely. And you're not going to miss it because you already subscribed and you ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video pops up. And you follow us on social media at Fan 316 so you will not miss what's coming up tomorrow, which is... Walter. The Walter. PW, the PWG champion. All right. All right. Versus, versus, you know him today as the Spanish sex god. Sammy Guevara? Sammy Guevara. Whoa, okay, I saw Sammy Guevara's shirt in the in the crowd, and I thought, wow, that guy's really young. I guess he was doing it two years ago. Sammy Guevara versus Walter? That seems like a mismatch on paper, but I guess, I mean, it's gonna be a hell of a show. Wow, I don't know what to say about that. What I have to say is we'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Damn right.